called congenital chest wall malformation, and doctors say it affects about one in 400 children. The uh, congenital chest wall malformation program is a program that allows us to bring expert care to children uh, of Southwest Florida. They have a variety of different uh, anomalies that affect the chest. Pediatric surgeon Dr. Andre Hebra uh, says the condition can create functional problems for children where they have difficulty exercising, breathing, and can even experience cardiac problems. And the most common type of congenital chest wall malformation is known as pectus excavatum. And this is where the sternum and the ribs that are caved in and they compress on the heart and displace the heart and the lungs. There's a number of different types of other congenital anomalies in which the sternum may be protruding out, protruding to one side where the sternum might not be formed completely. Um, so children that have any type of anomaly like that would benefit of being evaluated by us. Children may benefit from treatments like therapy or minimally invasive surgery. We offer the minimally invasive approach, also known as the NUS procedure, which has really revolutionized the way we manage this. It used to be a pretty invasive open surgery, and nowadays it is minimally invasive surgery. It's a very different approach than what it was 20 years ago. Doctors say it's important for children to be seen as soon as a diagnosis is made to determine the best treatment necessary. For Lee Health, I'm Lindsay Morton.